back to Little Miss Drop Stitch. Today I'm going to be showing you the double crochet stitch and that's in UK terms. If it's US terms that you're using then it's known as the single crochet. Something to note, which is the right side of my work you might be thinking. If it's flat and you're going back and forth then there isn't technically a right or wrong side because we're working on both sides. But if you really wanted to know kind of which was your starting row, then your tail that we had at the start, that will always be to the left of your work. If you're working in the round where it's connected, then there will be a correct and an incorrect side. But you're going to help me finish this little sample. With double crochet, we do want to add a bit of height, especially when doing it flat like this, for example, for a blanket or a cushion. So all you're going to do is chain one. I'll do that again for you. Yarn round, pull through. We've got a bit of height there. Now it's up to you. You can go into the next stitch, but just make sure to remember to ignore that and remember that it's not a stitch or you could miss one and go into the next one and then that will become a representation of a stitch. So because that's got an extra step to remember I'll show you that one. So I'll miss that first one there, okay, this one. And if you're ever struggling you can just turn it over and look at the V's on top of the stitch. So push your hook through, yarn over, then we're going to pull this with the V over the hook. Then yarn over again and pull through two loops. Let's have another go. Yarn through your stitch, so that's that V there. Yarn around the hook, pull through the stitch and then yarn over again and pull through the next two. So yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. That's quite a nice rhythm to remember to get into it. So through the stitch, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. I'll just get to the end of this row. My yarn's chasing me. Okay, now we're about to turn round. You can do this next step before you turn it over or after, it doesn't terribly matter. So chain one, turn it round and begin the next row. So I'm going to miss one. Remember you can go into it, just remember we're not on, on the next row, that's not a stitch. You could always put a little marker or pin in it, so you know. So I'll miss that one, and then I'll go into the next one, yarn round, pull through once, pull through the two loops. Okay, I will meet you at the end, and then I will show you about that first stitch we did a little bit funny. Here we are, I'm just about to come up to it. So it might look a little bit funny or squashed. So hook through. Oops, it is a bit squashed. <laughs> there we go. Pull through, pull through two. And then on the next row, I'll be ready to miss that one again. I really hope you found this video useful. Please do consider giving us a like, subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff because it really would help us out to make more tutorials. Thank you and take care.